tell him that. What is up everybody, welcome back to race 21 already in our NASCAR Heat Evolution career mode series. Uh, we just got done racing at the Brickyard and uh, we're on our way for a top 10 finish and then barely bump somebody or hit the apron or something, barely hit the wall, blow an engine, finish 29th on the last lap under green white checkered. Very disappointed about that. We ended up losing a lot of money, probably another 20 grand we could have gotten. But um, we're going to go ahead and move on to Pocono and see what we can do here. Our last race here, for me, was not that great. I think we got um, hit by Casey Kane, put us way back, had to fight away all the way back up. We finished in the low 20s. Um, and so that's why I pretty much don't like this track. And also, whenever you first start the race, you go into turn one and they just bulldoze you all the way through turn one. So it's really hard to even get a clean lap here, especially on a restart. So we'll see how we do, though. All right, so coming off three, I feel pretty good about that lap we just did. The first one was kind of shaky. This one I feel pretty good about. So 16th, I believe earlier, our last race, we qualified 16th. And of course, as you do the speed points, um, it's going to affect how how good you are or whatever for that race. So it's going to make it a little bit harder for the next race. So um, I'll see you guys at the green flag. This is Rick Allen for NBC Sports, and today NASCAR is back in Pennsylvania for its second and final stop at Pocono Raceway. Pocono is a unique track with unique challenges. The three turns here are all different, and so are the three straightaways. So once again, there's a lot of pressure for crew chiefs to find that perfect setup to get their driver to victory lane. All right, so I'm really, really nervous about going to turn one. I don't want it to be like the last time. Oh, my God. When he went to turn one. And uh, can we clear these things? Oh, I can't. Oh, it's going to be nasty. I guess I need to stop talking and just focus. Um, oh, sorry, Junior. <sighs> okay, he's good. So that was what I, that's what I was worried about. I was worried about them actually running to the back of me. I ended up running to the back of them. Oh my god, we're going so fast right now. So I was actually able to clear them and have free rain going into the tunnel turn, which is awesome. Thank god for that. Okay. So we're going to get at least one clean lap in, it looks like. Our car is actually pretty good. As we split the middle here, going three wide. Wow, okay. It's just, it's on the edge. <laughs> as you can see, as far as handling goes, it's definitely on the edge. I'm just waiting for these guys to get uh, spread out a little bit. I'm ready for this race to be over right now. Oh, don't hit the wall coming out of the tunnel turn. I've done that a few times. So I don't feel like we have a top 10 car. Honestly, I think we just got lucky on that start. So I expect these guys to start coming back by us. Of course, we're going to keep racing as hard as we can to not allow that, but... Um, once we, I'm still want us to get a little bit spread out, though. Not quite where I want to be. Here comes Junior. I expect him to maybe even win the freaking race. Last race here, he got the pole, and I think he did win. So, yeah, there he goes. He's blowing up through the field now.
Man, that was a horrible, horrible turn. Didn't really get onto the gas that great there. These guys are starting to just eat me alive. And of course it is a big horsepower track. We have gotten a couple upgrades, but we're still not quite where we need to be. Amarola gets into the side of us a little bit. <clears throat> it actually helped us. This is why I really wish I had like those mini maps so I can see how spread out the field is. Just get really tight, just gonna let him go by. God, so far this is going really well though. Oof. That we're definitely gonna hit that wall then. We can't scoot by Logano, who is behind us. Clint Boyer, he is about seven tenths back there now. Ooh, humming it, humming it. <laughs> it's actually going way better than I thought it was going to. We're about coming up on halfway in the race. Holding on to a top 10 and actually moving up. So I'm feeling good. I still feel like there's going to be some cars that are going to come up through the field as Newman gets by Boyer back there. So we'll see if they can, you know, start making their way up to the pack and get by us. But so far we're almost halfway. Still in 10th place. About to come up to Harvick to see if we can't maybe get by him. Still there? Oh, I'm gonna rough him up a little bit. We are gonna clear him coming out of one though. Good deal. So we're up to ninth. Man, we really needed a good race like this. Brickyard was a really good race, but didn't get the finish that we quite deserved. some good runs off though let's see if we can get the draft somebody's making some moves back there I can see them popping out they might be Logano getting by Harvick yep it is man we're getting some good runs off of off a of one the tunnel turn is one that I'm concerned about the most. I'm trying not to push it in there too hard. So that's where a lot of wrecks do happen at is in the tunnel turn. Man, mirrors are slowing up. Are you freaking kidding me? Don't pit. Oh my god, really? There's a green white checkered. And we're starting on the freaking outside. Hopefully we get a good start. Horrible start. Freaking horrible start. Oh my god, we're in the middle of going three wide right now. Hold your line. Oh god, just pray. Carlo. Oh, hold it. Carlo. Carlo. Holy crap. Oh, this sucks. We're going to have a good top 10. And now we're on the border of getting outside the top 20. But we're going to try fighting our way back up there. Okay. Recovered back up the 16th. We restarted 8th. 
Down to 16th. One to go. Man, that sucks. I knew that was going to happen going into that corner, too. I tried pushing it in there a little bit too hard. We can at least get by Dylan for 15th. Good run off of two. Ooh. Still there. Might have been a little bit too aggressive trying to make that cut coming off. Still there. But, uh... Okay, we got 14th. So overall, I feel like we had a top 10 car easily. We were running up there in the top 10, and we are moving up. But, uh, got caught up in a late race restart. But we were able to recover back up into the top 15, though, so... That's awesome. That's what we needed. Who won? I wonder if Junior won the race. Yep, he sure did. I think someone was going on with Casey Mears' car because he started slowing up in front of us and the caution came out. He wasn't like crazy slow, but he was slowing up a little bit. And they don't have caution replays in this game. So you don't know what they called the caution for. Finally, we get a good paycheck. Junior with his fourth win. Between him and Johnson, they have ten wins. They've won nearly half of all the races so far this year. So we move back up into 14th. Up one position. Heck yeah. Finish event. So we have five more races to go, I believe. Let's look at the schedule. So we have Watkins Glen next. I feel we did get Sonoma, got sixth. I feel like we can get a top 10 here. Bristol, we won here earlier. We'll see how the AI is different based on our speed rating last race. But if it's the same, I feel like we can win here again. Michigan. You know, we can probably get a good top 15. Darlington, haven't raced there yet. And then Richmond. Um, where did we finish at Richmond earlier? We finished 14th, so top 15. Might be able to get a top 10 here now, since we have some upgrades. But uh, we'll just have to see. My view results. Can you see the full? Oh, neat. Okay. Oh, very neat. Cool. So that's it for this race, guys. Uh... As you can see in the top left, races to the chase, we have five races left. I guess I just looked at that. Um, so we're getting closer. I am really, really looking forward to this. We're at 150 grand now. So we'll probably be able to buy the control software before the chase. If everything, if we get good enough finishes, we'll be able to do that. Um, wind tunnel, we probably won't be able to get that until maybe even Homestead, maybe even Daytona. So that, that's going to be a little ways off. So that's where we're at so far, guys. Um, just five races left until the chase starts. But thank you guys for watching so much. I really do appreciate it. I hope you did enjoy this Pocono race. It went way better than the last one, that's for sure. And uh, I'll see you guys at the Glen.